What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me below. I do have like a Hallow Week sale going on so if you would like to get those while they are on sale go ahead and um sign up below okay i can't get the lighting how i want it i don't know we're just gonna ignore it okay so for the longest time so many of you have asked me to talk about manifesting someone totally new i can't remember if i ever actually did it but i feel like if i did it must have been a long time ago or maybe i just like partially mentioned it in a video either way who cares we're gonna talk about it today so if you want to manifest someone totally new someone you've never met you want to basically create your perfect person to come into your life right here's what i want you to do now if you already know what kind of person this will be and a lot of people do a lot of times you already know exactly what you want the kind of person you want you have an idea of someone you would like them to be like you maybe even have a list if you do that is great you can skip this step but if you don't i want you to do that first step i want you to make a list i want you to I want you to think about what perfect the perfect person means to you. Like if you were to tell someone, I literally met the perfect person for me. What does that imply to you? Write it down just so you can get very clear on it. Just because we're recreating someone or we're creating someone new, I just want you to write it down at first. Just so you can get clear on what it implies. So I want you to write down what that means to you. Um, you can use someone you already know exists as a reference. You can, it could be maybe a stranger that you've seen and you just don't know them or have never met them, which means still it's like a clean slate because you know nothing about them besides how they look. However you want to do it, I want you to figure out what the perfect person means to you. Like what, what do you mean when you say the perfect person? What about them is perfect for you what qualities what kind of qualities do you consider to be perfect for you once you have established that and you've figured out exactly what it implies to you which you probably already know we usually know exactly what we want when we desire something we pretty much know the details that are implied right and luckily with law of assumption all you need to know is what it implies you can word it however you want. You can word it in the most natural way possible or the way that you like to word it. But at the end of the day, what really matters is what does it imply to you? Because two people can use the same affirmation and get two different results because it implies something different to those people. So you need to get clear on what perfect or your dream person implies to you once you have done that now you're going to create an affirmation and usually it can be just very general the, a lot of people's question is do they have to list every quality no you do not need to list every quality because like i said you know what the perfect person or your dream person implies to you when you say it you know exactly what you're implying you know what kind of person you would consider to be perfect for you and if you don't you do now because you did step one so now you're going to come up with a general affirmation so something like but okay wait pause let's make a note of this so we're clear when i am saying to affirm for something or when i'm telling you that i affirm I mean mentally. Everything is in, in your mind first. You can affirm out loud if you want to, if you have time and you're alone or whatever, you can affirm out loud, you can. But you have to remember that your inner world, what's going on in here all day, every day, that is what is creating the most. Because that is the most dominant. You're thinking more than you're speaking, okay? So when I say affirm, I mean 
in your mind, every, your inner world. You're controlling your inside world because that is what projects to the outside. So, first, like I said, when I say affirm, I mean think. Think, think, think. It's all in your head. You affirm in your head. Second, your your conversation in your head is, is just an affirmation, but the reason I call it a conversation is because when I'm affirming, I curate affirmations that sound like I'm telling someone something because that's how we think in our head. We have inner conversations, or most people do. It can, if you just have images or something like that, just do it your way. I'm just saying for me personally, naturally I have inner conversations. So when I'm thinking, it's like I'm telling someone something, even if I'm telling it to myself. But the way I word things in my head is that I am telling someone something. So you want to think like you are sharing your news, like you're bragging, like you're excited like you're telling someone something that is happening to you something as if it is true already like in this instance you have met the love of your life you have met the perfect person or the perfect person has come into your life you're sharing that news first mentally because when it manifests you're gonna be sharing it verbally for real so you do that in your head first so we're gonna come up with an affirmation. I'm gonna give you examples of how I would do it if it was me. So if I'm manifesting a brand new person and I know what my dream person implies, I know exactly what I want in a person, I know what I would be describing or what kind of man I would be describing or what kind of person you I would be describing if I were sharing that news with my closest friend. So I'm going to word it something like, I literally just met my dream man. Or, I've literally just met the perfect person for me. Or, I am literally, I say literally a lot, okay? Mind your business. I am literally in a relationship with my dream man. Which I really am, so that's not a lie. But, you know what I'm saying. I am literally in a relationship with my dream man. Or, the perfect man just walked into my life and then you can also add your typical like sp affirmations like he's so in love with me he'll do anything to be with me i met the perfect man he'll literally do anything to be with me or perfect person they'll do anything to be with me um however you want to word it you're going to imply that you have met your literal dream life partner or oh, ain't gonna be for life could be however long you want you know people change their minds it's okay your literal current dream person and then you're going to add in your regular sp affirmations again i still think you should keep it short and simple because the longer list of affirmations you have the less times you can um loop them and that's less that's less that you're saturating your mind but hey if you got all day to run through a list of 25 affirmations go for it go hard like i really don't care this is your business i don't care but for me personally, I would say keep it around three to four affirmations. One of them being your general, that you've met your dream person, your dream man, your dream woman, however you want to word it, or your perfect person, your perfect man, your perfect woman, however you want to word it, and then add in, they'll literally do anything to be with me. They text me constantly. They're so attentive. They're whatever you're wanting this person to show up in your life and to do, because yes, you can affirm that you met them, but maybe you're not implying that you're literally in a relationship with them. The whole point of this is to be in a relationship with your perfect person. Or maybe you could even say, I said a minute ago, I'm literally in the best relationship with my dream person, with my dream man, with my dream woman. I'm so lucky. Blah, 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 blah. As if you're sharing. The way that I word affirmations, the best advice I can give you on how to word or curate your affirmations is to think, if I were to share this news, if this was true for me already, and I was to share this news with someone, how would I say it to them? However you would naturally say it to them, that is how your affirmation should sound. Because your subconscious knows you better than anyone. If that's how you would naturally say it to them, that subconscious is going to pick up on that faster. It's going to seem real faster. Even if you think the scenario is far off or whatever, it's still your, if you can... If you get the language right, the language that is constantly going on in your head that your subconscious recognizes the most, you're one step closer, okay? 
I've tried this. It works. Remember, on this channel, I am literally sharing with you ways that I have done things that work for me consistently. And this is how I affirm for anything. It sounds like I am telling someone, okay? And it works because I'm speaking and thinking the way that I naturally do because I think all day. And so as long as it sounds the same, your subconscious is going to pick up on that much easier than you trying to use some language or some words or some form of a sentence that doesn't even sound like you. It just sounds like you're reading a script. You, your subconscious is not stupid. It knows you better than anybody. So... It can pick up on what's natural and what's not and the more natural it sounds in my experience the faster it works so try to keep your affirmations as natural as possible okay just try it again you're a master at manifesting already you already probably know what works for you and if you don't you can really choose what works for you you don't have to use my way it doesn't have to be strictly affirming although i strongly believe that if you think thoughts, then you need to control those thoughts. But if you have other methods, like if you want to script it, if you want to visualize it, if you want to have a dream board and look at it every day, I don't know. I don't give a shit how you do it, really. You can do it however you want. I'm just giving you the baseline idea of what to curate to manifest a new person or to create a person. Maybe this person doesn't even exist, but I can guarantee you that whatever image or idea you have in your head, if you will imply that you have met that person, that that person is in your life, that you're in a relationship with that person, that person will literally walk into your life and you will think you just took him right out of your head, took her right out of your head and draw them in your reality, which you kind of did, so. Yeah, you will run into them somewhere, they will show, maybe, it's 2022. Maybe they'll message you on social media if you have social media. You don't, who cares? The details are not your problem. And that is something I want to emphasize because so many people are so concerned with what if this, what if this, what if this, what if, it doesn't fucking matter. You know what your job is? Your job is to think as if. Your job is to think from the state of the person that has what you want. In this case, it's your dream partner. Think as if you have that person, however you want to do it, and don't worry about the details. Manifestation is always perfect. It's going to take care of itself. It's going to take care of itself. Just let it happen. Let it happen. Just keep affirming or writing or visualizing or whatever. It's going to take care of itself. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry about how. Trust me, you probably can't even think of the way that it's going to happen. And when it does happen, you're going to be like, wow, I would have never thought of that. Yeah, I know. Just do it. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped all of my people that wanted to create someone new. It's really that simple. It really is. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.